Disclaimer, if you haven't checked out part one of this three-part special, I highly recommend checking that out before you watch this, as I'll be picking up from where I previously left off. That video will go over the ins and outs of how to play Mattel games, and gives a brief overview of Wave 1. Anyways, this is part two, the 2012 to 2013 wave. Please enjoy. So not long after Spring is in the Air arrived in stores, in April of 2012, Mattel's second wave of board games was officially underway. The first edition was a rather large Toys R Us exclusive called Mega Smash. This set not only came with a large amount of materials, but great variety too. This allowed for even more complex missions to smash. This actually affected the playing cards as they had to print them horizontally to fit some of the missions. It also came with a few all-new updated bird models and was the first game to feature the all-new pig models. Indeed, out are the old stickered plastic pigs and in are the rubberized chrome sprite models. These are certainly a major upgrade as everything was now as accurate to the game as can be. Even Mustache Pig got a special molding. As usual, when they get to this point in the history of Angry Birds merchandise, that is March to about August of 2012, we start seeing Angry Birds space theme merchandise, and this case is no different. Mattel cashed in on Rovio's new hit title, Angry Birds Space, blah blah blah, you know the story. Mattel released an all new game based upon Angry Birds Space called the Angry Birds Space Game. What this game brought to the table was a few new space moldings such as new birds, an asteroid, and a bubble that could house a pig. But most importantly, it was also the first to introduce the stone building materials. Interestingly, their edges were not perfectly straight like other blocks, which always made them a challenge to balance while building. However, despite all of that, most of Wave 2 was set to be released in December of 2012. This is most likely because of the yearly increase of sales around the holidays. Mattel released a couple of new games along with a new game add-on which we will get to in a minute. So let's go over the details. The Mega Fling game at the time was the largest Angry Birds game Mattel had ever put out. It featured the most figures and building materials of any game. Red, Chuck, Bomb, the Blues, Matilda, and the all-new Terrence, it had it all. It also featured a deluxe slingshot that made sounds when you launched a bird or when you pressed the golden egg on the base. Personally, I thought it could not get better than this. This was basically the family size version of the classic style game. The one gripe I've had with it over the years is that it only came with four pigs, but it did introduce the all new helmet pig with their removable helmet, so I guess I really can't complain. Though I do think this would have been their best opportunity to introduce a king pig figure, it's still a fantastic set and still my favorite to this day. <laughs> The Western Roundup game was based upon the level Hamnum High from Angry Birds Classic and came with a few cowboy-themed bonus parts. Interestingly, this set also came with an all-new Bubbles figure who definitely isn't the first bird that comes to mind when I think of Western-themed Angry Birds levels. It was only a matter of time until Mattel cashed in on a Christmas-themed Angry Birds game. Enter Happy Holidays. This game was especially unique as it was the first set to include snow blocks, which pretty much were recolored stone blocks, but still awesome. Throw in an exclusive HAL figure, some ice blocks, and some Santa hats, and you've got one of the best Angry Birds Mattel games to date. In January of 2013, Mattel also introduced game add-ons that you could buy to add more figures to your games. There were single packs and three packs that came with birds and or pigs and two yellow cards. The idea was to get as many of these cards as possible and create an extra deck of cards that would affect the game. Here's how they work. Draw a mission card and set up the game like normal. Shuffle your power cards and face them down. 
On each person's turn, draw a power card. If the card shows an image of a bird, use that bird in place of your first bird on your mission card. If the card shows an image of a bird and a power, you may use that power to destroy your structure. If the card shows an image of a pig, keep playing as normal. If the card shows an injured pig with some points, add the pig to your structure. Essentially, this bonus pig is like a bonus piece. Complete the mission and knock over this extra pig, you get the points. Alright, so there's plenty of these packs that Mattel offered, some were even holiday themed, but here they are. I'm not going to go into any specifics. The new games would just keep coming. Mattel continued Wave 2 with two more games in March of 2013. One small change made from the 2012 games was the color of the pigs. Okay, it might sound weird, but the pigment of green used on the pig molds before was a bit too snot colored. So for the 2013 sets and the add-ons, Mattel finally fixed their color to the more traditional lime green. Aside from that, let's get into some set details. <laughs> I've always found Spring has sprung kind of redundant, considering Mattel already made an Easter-themed game and Spring is in the air, but either way, this is a decent upgrade. With the new bunny ear moldings, an all-new egg bonus piece, the new pigs, and a good selection of parts, it's certainly a nice set. <coughs> this variant of the Angry Birds space game added new building capabilities with materials that could defy gravity. This is accomplished by new girder moldings that have small prongs that stick into the sides of other girders and space-themed bases. It also came with an all-new satellite helmet pig. Essentially, that was the 2012 to 2013 wave. It added plenty of playability to an already promising first wave. It certainly was a major improvement with all the new parts, birds, and pigs, and the new power card add-ons were a nice touch as well. However, it wouldn't go without mentioning that there was another 2013 game that has stirred up some major controversy through the years, which will have its own video. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Come back next time for another Angry Birds merchandise video. Leave a comment down below saying whatever that you want, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs>